Jane, you're adorable, Jane, so seem horrible, Jane, oh, Jane. Jane, you're so glamorous, Jane, you make us amorous, Jane, wonderful, Jane. You're more than just a figure in a daily comic strip. It's thanks to you the colonel keeps his stiff upper lip. While London is pluckily braving the worst of the Blitz, Jane waits to meet her new Secret Service Chief, Commander L. In what dangerous position will Jane find herself next? I've been looking for you all evening. Tombs! This is no time to be out sightseeing. No, well, you'd better get up from that position, Miss Jade, otherwise you'll catch a cold in your axis. Right. Now, we'd better get to move on, because the great white chief is waiting for you in your flat. Oh! Oh, there you are, Tombs. I was beginning to get a trifle worried. Was you really, sir? How very kind of him. Kind be damned. Gin's nearly gone. Ah, you'll be Jane. Welcome aboard. Yes, sir, upon reflection, I think you should tell Miss Jane about us going off to Lisbon tomorrow. Lisbon? Why Lisbon? Well, uh, we've got to meet some boffin chap and escort him to Egypt. <laughs> So it's Tilbury tomorrow, 0800 hours on the dot. Come on. The ship's called the Maid of Ply. We three will be the only passengers. I see. I've never been to Egypt before. Oh, I've been reading it up. Southeast of Jib. Hot, lot of sand. Tombs! Those cigarettes that Lola Pagola smoked. That are pong, Miss. Abdullah's? No, they were hers. They were Egyptian. Don't you see what I'm getting at? Well, of course, the Colonel told me about this spy, Lola Pagola. Who smoked Egyptian cigarettes. Therefore, Egypt could be her HQ. Well, I suppose it's vaguely possible. Of course, that's it. Intelligence had a cable from that, that boyfriend of yours. What's his name? You've heard from Georgie? Yes. It simply said, there's a scorpion bint in the casbah. I thought it was in code. <laughs> Been all week trying to work it out. Sounds like Georgie's tracked down Lola Pagola. So the sooner we get to Egypt, the better. I'll just finish packing. Perhaps this is it, Fritz. Oh, no. Made of ply. It probably is. Oh, well, better get aboard. Excuse me, have you seen a naval commander? Yes? Have you seen a naval commander? Questions, questions. Why does everybody ask me questions? Are you a passenger? Is that a question? There you go again. My name is Jane. I'm looking for this naval commander and his manservant, Tombs. Are you satisfied now? No, I'm not. They told me I'd be the only passenger. That's what they told us. Ridiculous. How can three of you be an only passenger? Well... Oh, never mind. Come on, Fritz. Three cabins, and I'm in number two. They'll be on either side of me. I'll be clo-
Faust ihn. Da. Ah, ah, ah. Make the most of it, Jane. Another five hours and we'll be in Lisbon. Hmm. Pity. This old rust bucket is hardly the Queen Mary, but I was getting quite used to this life of ease. Well, now, time's come to open up our secret orders. It seems this boffin we've got to meet is called Professor Norman Crankshaft. What's he a professor of? Doesn't say. Only that he's on highly secret and important war work and that he's to be protected at all costs. Where do we meet him? Uh, the Plaza Hotel, Lisbon. It's a damned hun! Get down, Jane! <laughs> Ship! Did they tell you that I... Oh, it's coming back. Oh. We've been hit. Below the belt. And I'm not taking it lying down. Jane, where the devil are you going? Oh, sorry, good shot. But it's time to abandon ship, Jane. Oh. Oh. She's going down, and all the boats have gone. Come on, we'll have to swim for it, old girl. Well, worst things happen at sea. Come on, Briggs. Over we go. Afraid I'm not very good at this swimming, Jane. But you're in the Navy. Uh, Admiralty, actually. Uh, we'll keep going. There's a boat not far off. Uh, uh. <laughs> Has it gone yet? Oh, no, not that dreadful chap. Hey, you there. What sort of fella are you? Letting a woman do a man's work. I found this lifeboat. It's mine. If I choose to sit here doing nothing, that's exactly what I will do. Nothing. Oh, do shut up, you silly little man. You mustn't talk to me like that. I might lose my temper. I'm going to go to sleep. Dream of my sweet mother. I do hope poor old Toombs is all right. Commander? Well, it's down to just you and me, Fritz. Won't get very far at this rate. But we can't be far from land. What we really need is a sail. Breeze springing up. I see Jane. Rise and shine. Show a leg. He's over there, talking to that policeman. Obviously organizing help. I saw them arrive, officer. I think they may be smugglers. Eh? Or maybe even spies. I'm sure if you arrest them, they will give you a medal. Confounded Dagos. Why can't they speak English like everyone else? You, you realize we could be stuck in this pokey for months, Jane? Then we'll just have to break out. How? There must be some way. I mean, Cadney and Edward G. do it every week. But the trouble is that blasted guard keeps looking through the grill.
don't look much like Lisbon to me. Oh, well. Onwards. As soon as we get to Lisbon, we'll report to the embassy. A friend of mine's the ambassador then, Freddy, good chap. He'll be able to tell us all about this Professor Crankshaft. And provide me with some clothes, I hope. No, pretty. No, I mean, pretty. <laughs> pretty clothes. <laughs> That must have been the commander. If that had been the colonel, he'd have stopped. Oh, well. <clears throat> Onwards. <laughs> oh. Drink up, my little friend. That is one thing about Count Boris Baginov. He never forgets a friend, eh, hey, Butler? Cutler, Cutler! Why does everybody get my name wrong? Casper? Oh, Cutler! Whatever you say. Now, what is this news you have to tell me? Staying in this hotel is a prominent British scientist called Professor Crankshaft. He wears spectacles. He what? All scientists wear spectacles. I have seen this man continue. He is very important to Britain's war effort. He has invented a secret weapon. I don't know, but our German friends will surely pay us a lot of money for him, yes? Yeah. <laughs> yes, they will. And I know the very person who will give us this money. walked in through the front gates of the embassy like Fritz. Don't be ridiculous, my dear. We're in the Secret Service. Come on, the coast's clear. Is that you, Bertie? Or is it your ghost? Ghost? <laughs> What the devil are you talking about, you damn fool? <laughs> it is you. I had a report you'd gone down with your ship. I sent a letter of condolence off to your wife today. Did you, by Jove? So Myrtle thinks I'm dead, eh? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. She'd find out, being Myrtle. Pity. Mm. Yeah. And oh, may I introduce you to my assistant, Jane? <laughs> How do you... Oh! Oh, so, blown your cover, what? A cover? Undercover agent. You do get it, Bertie. Oh, y yes, very droll, Freddy. Uh, uh, now, about this chap, Crankshaw. Ah, the boffin chappy. Right, it's vital you get him safely to Egypt and on the QT. I promise you, most illustrious one, that I will deliver Professor Crankshaft within the hour. I struck a hard bargain, my friend. My Ukrainian mother would have been proud of me. Never mind your mother. How much? Ten thousand dollars. Do we have to kill him for that? No. They want him alive. Okay. Crankshaft's in room 13, shall we uh, go up? <laughs> Bertie, uh, uh, are, you, are you all right? Shh, listen. Egyptian tobacco. I think you ought to lie down, old chum. Egyptian cigarettes, dark hair, gorgeous figure, cigarette holder. It must be. I say, aren't you Lola Pagola? Me? No, no. I am Pola Pagola. Lola Pagola is my sister. She is in Germany at the moment. Really? <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> we are frequently mistaken for one another. And now? If you will excuse me, Commander. Uh, uh, of course. <laughs> Dashed sorry. <laughs> Damn nearly made a fool of myself, Freddy. Really. Not difficult, old chum, is it? Let's go and find Crankshaft. Yeah. Trouble is, how am I going to find him when I get there? 
<laughs> Find the biggest hotel where they serve the pink gins, I suppose. That'll be it. Well, not here. Damned untidy, these boffins. Don't be an idiot, Freddy. There's been a fight. Somebody snatched the professor. Great Scott. She called me Commander. But you are one, old boy. But don't you see? I'm in Mufti. How could she have known? Someone must have told her. Damn it, she's probably a Hun spy, just like her confounded sister. Come on. Lift your end up. My end is lifted up. Drop yours. Don't you tell me to drop mine. Put it down, boys. Is Frank shot in there? Shut up. Shut up. That information you gave me about the British naval commander was correct. He is here in this hotel. We cannot stay in Lisbon. This is where we will go. Ow. Jane! Jane, where are you? What on earth's the matter, Commander? Oh. No, uh, Polar's got crankshaft. Polar? Don't you mean Lola? No, I mean Polar. Who's Polar? She's, uh... Look, I'll explain on the way. Come on. Oh, right, I'll just put some... No, 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 no. There's no time for that now. Hurry, girl, hurry. Hurry, you dogs. Is that Lola's sister, Pola? Yes, did you see who was with her? Casper Cutler! Stop, I say! Quick, we've got to get after them. Follow that laundry van! Commander! Commander, where are you going? Commander? Commander L? Yes. Oh, well. <laughs> well, I'll come this far. Might as well carry on. Are they still following? Head for the Casper. We still lose the commander there. And then you'll pay us our money and we can go home, yes? Just concentrate on your driving, you avaricious little Balkan peasant. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you for that information, my man. And uh, this should be enough to cover Madam's frock. Hmm? Oh, no, no, no filthy postcards, thank you. I thought that was impossible. Oh, sorry, I, I thought you were ready. <clears throat> Any sign of Polar and her laundry van, Commander? No, but I've had a piece of luck. The shopkeeper wallet tells me there's a dark-haired foreign lady living near here. Now, that could be Polar. Let's go and find out. Doesn't look very inviting, does it? No, but it's just the sort of lair a Hun spy might use. Come on. Oh, 
sure this is the right alleyway, Commander? Positive. I gave that fellow a jolly good tip for this information, so it must be the right place. <gasps> Do you think I ought to tell him we're British? I think he's guessed. What's the Arabic for fair play? <laughs> Jane, we've set up an experimental plant in a nearby oasis. Very hush-hush. Unfortunately, the Germans have got wind of it. Have they, by George? Yes. And it's odds on that pretty soon Lola will turn up. Uh, no, no, no. no. L Lola Pagola's in Germany. But her sister, Pola, is here. But Pola's more deadly than Lola. Ah, well, that explains it. You see, she's kidnapped Professor Crankshaft. Crankshaft? He's the very man who has the formula for these secret experiments. He must be rescued at all costs. We need a plan. Mm. Sir, I'll sniff around, see what I can find. You book into the cafe of the Seven Vales, and I'll meet you there at six. Amanda, I can smell Egyptian cigarettes. Well, not surprising, as we're in Egypt. <laughs> Here, you sign. They are here? Obviously, this commander is far cleverer than I thought. You will take care of them. Ticket. Ah, uh, then. A swift pinkers and 40 winks. It's no good, Fritz. I can't even think in this heat. I just have to have a little snooze. I think you could do with one, too. Foreigners. Why don't they put their directions up in English, eh? But you're no better. Following you, I reckon you're leading me up the garden path. <laughs> ah, civilization. Cool. Sorry, Seagull. That's nice, isn't it? Why can't I kill the girl? Because you lost the toss. That is why. Just get on with it. You get all the fun. I suppose. Imbeciles, can you do nothing right? How was I to know he was going to throw the soap on the floor? And I was going to stab him so beautifully. Shut up, you fool, and listen. Because of your incompetence, we now have to move Crankshaft. Oh, no. Oh, yes. And where? The commander cannot find him. Luckily, I have a friend. I had a friend once. He is called Sheikh Bulbul ben Qatar. You will take the professor to his palace. Then do we get our money? Only if you don't bungle it. Almost time to see Georgie, Fritz. Must look my best. 
Hello. What's going on down there? Hurry up before anybody sees us. Okay. It's Casper. And that must be the professor. No time to get help, Fritz. I must save him myself. So far, so good. But how do I get inside? Have a long way to come just to deliver the laundry. Minute. Oh, well. Oh, well. Onwards. I expect you're wondering where I came from, Professor. Heaven? Uh, uh, London, actually. I'm Jane, working with Commander L. We've got to get you out of here. Have to jump for it, I'm afraid. Young lady, I, I estimate that we are traveling at some 53.8 miles per hour. May I suggest that we wait until it slows down a bit? There's not a sign of Jane. Searched everywhere and no one's seen her. Strange. Could she have gone on the track of Crankshaft, sir? Well, if she has, I mean, how are we going to find her? Yes. Good evening, ah. sir. Tunes, where the devil have you been? Well, sir, it's been the circumstance. Oh. Hello, what's wrong with him, eh? Hey, don't you go away. Don't get lost. What? Just step into word with the seagull, sir. I see. Yes. Now, look here, Toombs. We've got a problem on our hands. Exactly. You better put him in the picture. Right, sir. Sit down, Toombs. Mm, I thought you'd never ask. And so, you see, as soon as I found out that the Germans could cut up our oil supplies, I decided to seek another form of fuel. And you found one? Oh, you indeed I did, yes. But it is a formula that must be kept secret from the Germans at all costs. Look, we're slowing down. Come on. I'll go over the tailboard first. Nothing to be afraid of. Oh, oh. Follow me. Oh, oh, gosh, I forgot to untie his feet. Jane, Jane. And when the commander went to look in her room, there was no sign of her. Mm. Excuse me, sir, but uh, did you say they all came in a laundry van? Yes. Why? Only I saw a laundry van passing here in the opposite direction. Why on earth didn't you say? Come on, full ahead both. We'll soon catch the beggars. Look, Commander, there's a thousand miles of empty desert out there. Is there? Oh. Uh, excuse me, sir, but how does that dog smell? Well, now you come to mention it. <laughs> Pretty awful. <laughs> no, 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 I don't mean that. I mean, uh, how is he uh, on a scent? A scent? Yes. You, you mean you wanted to climb something? Think? No, not a scent, sir. A scent. Could he follow Jane's scent? Yes. Uh, I see what you mean. Oh, what a damn clever idea of yours, Georgie. <laughs> Typical. Lucky this window was open. I wonder exactly where I am in the palace. Heavens! This must be the harem. I think I'd better get out of here. lucky one to be blessed with good fortune on this night of crescent moon. Ah, there is a new flower in my garden, charming. Oh, no, no, you've got it wrong. I don't belong here. Oh, yes, you do. Ah, my little golden flower, you are teasing me. But soon you will tire, and then we will play my favorite game. Oh, no, we won't. Oh, yes, we will. Ah. Oh. Sorry to disturb you, most noble spirit of the desert. My lady Paula Pagola wishes. How dare you interrupt me, you infant! 
Fiddle. Check. That is Jane. Thank you for supplying her name, but now I feel her kindly leave. She is a British agent. What? We must lock her up with the professor. Look, couldn't you just wait a little while? I mean, it's such a waste. Hands up. <laughs> Thank you, but I think for once you're the lesser of two evils. <laughs> Well done, Fritz. That's where Jane must be. And with any luck, crankshaft as well, sir. All we've got to do now is get into the place. Look shut for the night, if you ask me. No one's asking you to. Is she safely tied up? Yes, of course she is. It's so cold in those dungeons. Then drink some coffee and keep quiet. Tell me, oh beautiful one, what is it that this professor has invented? It is an entirely new fuel for aircraft. At the moment, we don't know the process. But we do know what they are using for their raw material. And what is that? You insult the tent of my ancestor! Food, I lie to you, Shin Bulbul Ben Katara. It is a truce. Besides, think of the money you will make. You mean I am sitting on a fortune? Yes, and Germany must have this material. How much can you supply? Do you think this will work, Georgie? Mm, should do, sir. When you let go, I shall either be catapulted to the top of the wall... ...or smashed against the side of it. Or, uh, or land in the courtyard. And then Toombs and I go for help, right? Right, sir. You'll find our secret experimental base ten miles due south of here. Uh, all set, then. Uh, let me know when you're ready. Ready. One, two, three, go! Uh -huh. The agility of youth. Plus a big dollop of luck. Yes, well, time to start walking, Holmes. Yes, I was afraid you was going to say that, sir. Six thousand tons. Another or two for a member, That is eight thousand. Time to find out about the secret formula. Go, fetch the Professor, Kaspar. Those dungeons are freezing. Let Boris go. I am Count Boris Badinov. I do not run errands when there is a peasant to do the work. Peasant? Si, ti, ti, ti. I, I just... No, Miss Jane, they're, they're going to torture me. I mean, they always do, don't they? No, not always. Oh. Sometimes they simply shoot you. Oh. Only joking. <laughs> don't worry, Professor. I just know that help is on the way. Hmm. Sharper than a surgeon's scalpel. Morning. Oh. I'm sorry to have kept you waiting. Oh, you are going to be tortured so beautifully. <laughs> Being a man of science, you will appreciate it more than most. <laughs> now, I think I will begin with a few little cuts. Uh. Oh, no. He's fainted. He's spoiling all my fun. Your fun is over, Casper Cutler. Georgie! Well, Georgie's got a knife. One step closer, and I step the gap. Jane, walk around the garden like a teddy bear. What? One step. Two steps. Tickly under there. Oh! Oh! Oh, yeah. Right, let's get you both out of here. I think we ought to heave to and find somewhere to shelter, Tombs. In the middle of the desert. Sandstorm. Somewhere to shelter. There shouldn't be any problems, sir. I can't, sir. 
ask you to do anything. Stop shaking me! Shut up, the pair of you. Let me think. Now then, that professor can't have got far in this sandstorm. We'll follow him and bring him back. And the girl. We'll never be able to see them. Obviously, they will head for the British camp. So, will we. But we will have a compass. Come on. They kicked me and took my beautiful knife. Just as well. Otherwise, I would have slit your throat. <laughs> Storms passed. Ooh. All the sand in my hair. Well, while they're asleep, I think I'll take a dip. Don't move, Jane. Dressed like this, I don't intend to. All right. Everyone, your hands up. If it's all the same to you, Polar, I'll stay like this. Damn it, Tombs. We must do something to save them. Trouble is, we haven't any weapons. Come on, Professor, get on your feet. Supposing we use these, son. Bamboo canes? Don't be ridiculous. Yeah, you know they're bamboo. I know they're bamboo, but supposing we told them that there's something else, sir. Keep them covered, Boris. You, sir. Come out of the water. Only if everyone closes their eyes. Oh, no, you don't catch me like that. Squad, take aim. Ready to fire. The game's up, Ola. You better surrender while you can. You're completely covered. And so are you, Commander. <laughs> If you want to stake one revolver against half a dozen rifles, you're a bigger fool than I thought. <laughs> ready, men? Yes, quite ready. I'm ready. I can't wait to go. Go on that lot, you know. I'm ready. Yes, so am I. Paula, Paula, what are you doing? He's right. Uh, be sensible, like me. Look. You miserable cowards. The battle isn't over yet, Commander. You may have won Just the stop day. talking and turn around. <laughs> Trick us. That's right. Thoroughly bamboozled. <laughs> That's rather clever, one. <laughs> bamboozled. <laughs> yeah. I think it's time we got you in out of the sun. So. Well, I think we can safely say, Georgie, that we've come out of that with flying colours. Cheers, sir. Hello, who's the gorgeous filly with crankshaft? Oh, Jane! Damn it, I didn't recognize you with your frock on. You look beautiful, darling. Yes, yes, yes. Gentlemen, I've finished checking all my equipment. Yes, I couldn't help noticing there's a bit of a pong. Oh. Is everything all right? Everything's working splendidly. If you care to follow me, I'll, I'll show you what this has all been about. Yeah. Of course, you see, the actual process itself... 
Rather, has been been known for many, many years. You see, but nobody, nobody, has ever thought of using this as ah, raw material. Good grief, Baddich! Nothing but a great big pile of dung, 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 Commander. <laughs> ah, Egyptian camel dung. I thought they only used that stuff for making cigarettes. I discovered that Egyptian camel dung. Dung, Commander, dung. <laughs> creates the most volatile methane gas. A simple conversion? And all our aircraft could fly on it. So you mean, even if Adolf's Cave does cut off our supply of oil... Our planes can still go on flying. Well done, Professor. Ah, oh, well, we've just converted an old Dakota, and we're flying her back to England tomorrow. And if you care to join us on its maiden flight, I should be delighted. I hope that formula of his works. Yes, yeah, so do I, Toons. I've just volunteered to fly it. Mm. Really? The prisoner's last request. Please, Popsy, a final cigarette. Oh, well, here's five woodies. And if I might have some matches to light them with, sweet. You'll be leaving in half an hour. Boris, start tearing up that mattress. We're going to have a campfire. Why not? Oh, well, Tombs, by tonight we'll be back in dear old England. Yes. Of course, the little things I miss, uh, you know. The blackout, the rationing, the blitz. Great Scott! The guardroom's on fire. Well, that's a fire starter. Now what? Come on, let's get you out of here. Hey, where's the woman? Polis disappeared into thin air. Great gremlins. We've gone through the camp with a fine tooth comb. Even the surrounding desert, not a sign. I'm afraid I can't delay takeoff any longer. Mr. Churchill needs the results of these experiments straight away. Oh, very well. Oh, mind your head, sir. Two of the spies. And you did foil Poli's attempt to get the secret formula. That's true. Besides, Georgie and I are getting married. <coughs> no. You know, I'm not cut out for this spy business. I'm a simple assassin at heart. Keep quiet, I'm thinking. Psst. What is it? What is what? You psst me. I did not psst you. Psst. There you go again. Shut up the pair of you and listen. It's Paula. Yes, and we're going to capture this plane and fly it back to Germany. How's she flying? Smooth as silk. Oh. And your fuel's increased her speed by at least 50 knots. Splendid, splendid, splendid. Where, um, where are we now? We're just crossing the French Alps. You deal with those three. I'll take care of the pilot. When I say no. No! Oh. Oh. Look, I see just what is going on. You are sweetie. <laughs> But not with Polar aboard. Happy landings, Popsies! I 
are you saying, Commander, that single-handed, never having flown a plane before, this young woman took over the controls and landed the aircraft by herself? I am indeed, Prime Minister. A remarkable achievement. How can we repay such a brave endeavor? Well, sir, you might give Georgie some leaves that we could get married. Ah, alas. While the Pagola sisters still lurk in Europe, the very security of our nation is imperial. We all have our parts to play. And it is your young man's task to track down these two Nazi agents, and quickly, while the trail is still fresh. I understand, sir. Fine-looking girl. And highly intelligent, sir. Oh, yes. Got a damn good figure. <laughs> Waste not, want not, Asa. <laughs> I don't think you've quite got the thread, Commander. Huh? Goodbye, darling. We'll meet again soon. Bye, Georgie. I'll wait for you and count every minute. I say, I say. <laughs> Bye, Georgie. Come back safely. I rather think we've come to the end of the yarn, Commander. <laughs> oh, Jane. Oh. Jane, you're unbeatable, Jane. Undefeatable, Jane. Oh, Jane. It's thanks to your adventures with your little doggy Fritz that we can tell old Jerry what to do with his blitz. Jane, we'd do anything, Jane, for such a bright young thing, Jane, wonderful Jane, Jane, adorable Jane, Jane, the forces favorite, Jane.